He's used to dropping the gloves on the ice as an enforcer for the Quebec-based North American Hockey League, but tonight, John Nasty Morasty adorns the four-ounce mixed martial arts gloves as he is set to make his first appearance in a mixed martial arts match here at TKO 29. Repercussion flanked by his stablemates. As a boxing background, as we alluded to, a former Golden Gloves champion in his native Saskatchewan. Yeah, John really loves to brawl. He wants to get in there and mix it up with uh, with Gauthier. He's got a very good chin, and he's also making his pro mixed martial arts debut, so we really don't know what we can expect from him. All I know is we can't expect fireworks. Here he comes, adorned in his judo gi, that is Sebastien Gauthier, nicknamed Iron Leg for his lethal kicks. He is skilled in judo and boxing, loves to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with his opponents. He TKO'd Brett Pearson in his mixed martial arts debut in May of 2006 here in Montreal. He lost via split decision to Stefan Pinay in February of this year in Montreal and is coming off a TKO victory over Bob Landry. Sebastian Gauthier has great leg kicks. He's very experienced as an amateur, and he has a very solid ground game based on his judo background and his training with Steve Clavo in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. So we are set here for our second bout of TKO 29 repercussion. Sebastian Gauthier welcoming John Marasti to mixed martial arts. We see some of the lovely scenery of La Belle Provence, one of the cage cuties. Although she's much more than a cutie, I think, Mark. Not only do we have the best mixed martial arts in the country, Mauro, we definitely have some of the best women as well. All those curves and we have no breaks. Let's go to our announcer, Anthony Horn, for the particulars. Le prochain combat de la soirée dans la catégorie des poids lourds. Ce combat vous est présenté par les Condon Lifestyles. The next bout of the evening is in the TKO Heavyweight Division. This bout is proudly brought to you by Lifestyles Condoms. Ce combat est prévu pour trois rounds de cinq minutes. This bout is scheduled for three rounds of five minutes. L'arbitre, the referee, Monsieur Denis Bourdon. Tout d'abord, dans le coin bleu, portant la culotte camouflage et pesant 208 livres. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing camel trunks and weighing in at 208 pounds. Il participe ce soir à son premier combat professionnel. He is making his professional mixed martial arts debut tonight. De la réserve indienne Flying Dust en Saskatchewan. From Flying Dust Indian Reservation in Saskatchewan, John Nasty Mirasti. Son adversaire dans le coin rouge, portant la flotte noire et blanche et rouge et pesant 227.2 livres. Across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black, white and red trunks and weighing in at 227.2 pounds. Il est une fiche professionnelle de deux victoires, tout obtenu par KO en trois combats. His professional record shows two wins, all by way of knockout in three bouts. The Shikutimi from Shikutimi, Quebec, Iron Leg, Sebastien Gauthier! Well, the fans are definitely very involved here at TKO 29, a repercussion. The province of Quebec firmly behind the sport of mixed martial arts, and in fact, the city of Montreal probably... Canada's number one combat sports cities always get good crowds for not only mixed martial arts, but boxing and professional wrestling as well. And obviously, TKO 29 has put them into the Bell Center. A crowd of nearly 8,000 on hand as Denny Bourdon now makes sure the judges are ready and gets this heavyweight contest underway. John Morasti's MMA debut against Sebastian Gauthier. Sebastian Gauthier has a much you know, longer reach advantage over John. He's going to need to use his reach, use his jab, keep John at bay, because John's going to have to get inside to use his heavy hands effectively against uh, Gauthier. And Gauthier has a very interesting stance right now there, Mark. 
Yeah, he's uh, he's been working on keeping his chin down because most fights he's been you know keeping that chin out there uh, in the breeze, uh, ready to get smacked. So he's been you know coached to keep his chin down. Uh, Clavo, who is his trainer, is you know a very versed trainer, a lot of experience. He's from the same stable as uh, as a road warrior, uh, so you know he's he's learning and he's going to get in there. He's getting better and better, but he actually you know he's got to improve these stance and little details uh, of the game. Morasti flashing that jab, and now Goche goes for the. Greco-Roman clinch the over and under hook and into the takedown into full mount for Gauthier and we'll see how Morasti does now from the bottom here in his first MMA fight. Well right away Morasti does not have any reach advantage here so he's you know he's flaring like a turtle on his back. He needs to he needs to start using elbow escapes he needs to get out of there uh, or else he's just going to be teed off on like this all day long. Morasti giving up five inches in height to Gauthier. Gauthier continues to Control from top position in the full mount. Marasti, though, active on the bottom, trying to explode out of there, but now just trying to control the shots raining down on him from Gautier. You know, Marasti said in his uh, in his pre-fight interview, he's been working the ground game for a month. He's been training hard on the ground. I don't know if a month is going to be long enough to get him out of a situation like this against a judo brown belt, who is very used to being on the ground. Well, Marasti, very game from the bottom, although he's eating some shots now with the ground and pound from Gautier, but Marasti trying to attack the body as well. Now some shots from Gautier up along the fence, and this is not the area Marasti wants to be in this early in the fight. He eats another left and a right. Well, Morasti cannot reach Gauthier's face. So, I mean, he can punch him in the belly all he wants, but you have no power shooting from the taking punches from the bottom because you don't have your you don't have your range. You can't pull that elbow back to throw efficient efficient punch. Or you're just throwing arms. You're not going to hurt anybody from that place. Morasti busy trying to buck those hips and showing some power there, but good balance by Gauthier who finally just lets him up. So Morasti survives his first test here in round one. Gauthier looks like he's gassed himself out a little bit. His arms are low. He's walking around. You know, McNasty is uh, he's in there with his hands high at least. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a puncher's fight now. I mean, anybody with a big strike could end this fight real, real fast. His nickname is Nasty. His surname's Morasti. So I don't know where you get McNasty out of that, Mark. But uh, I just like it. I think it works. It might work for him. John Morasti here at 25 making his MMA debut at TKO 29. And Goche misses with a wild left. Morasti now tries to come back with a right hand of his own. And you can see there the reach advantage of Sebastian Goche. But one would uh, surmise that Morasti has the power even though he's giving up five inches in height. When you're fighting a taller fight like that, you got to start using overhand rights. you got to kind of throw what somewhat looks like a haymaker, kind of like a la Chuck Liddell. You come in with an overhand, close the distance, yeah, get he's inside. Gotta, yeah, get inside, close the distance, and do some of that dirty boxing. And uh, if he were smart, he'd get it to the ground and s utilize some of that ground and pound he talked about. Exactly. I mean, is not known for a great guard, so even if uh, if John is in his guard, I think it would be pretty much safe to say that he can he can do some damage with his uh, with his power. Gauthier goes downstairs with an outside cut. Cut kick. Morasti looking to tee off with that right hand. There's oh. that spinning back fist by Goche and Morasti smiles at him. Well, he says, you know, they said that he had a good chin and he just proved it right there. Spinning back fist and he's smiling about it. And a spinning back kick also finds its target. So Goche trying to mix it up here again goes downstairs attacking that lead leg of John Morasti. You know, lead leg kicks have been very over, um, over, um... High head kick! Oh. Oh. And I think you're going to say it may be overrated, but that high head kick isn't overrated, and Morasti looks like he's out on his feet, and that is it. The referee calls the fight. John did a chopstick dance. I mean, his legs were locked out. He was all over the place. He was out on his feet. That, that kick just ended that fight right there. Well, Morasti appeared to be on ice skates in the cage, but, uh, the referee... Always the safety of the fighter being paramount, and uh, Mark will take a look at the replay here. Well, John throws a somewhat of a leg kick that doesn't find its mark. Now here he's jabbing, he's trying to close the gap, he's you, doing what he's supposed to do. And you can see with that reach disadvantage, missing with the jab both times, gets tagged, and then here it comes, the, the end of this fight. We're going to see the kick coming up real soon here. Here's a little bit and of a shade of flurry. There. Yep. A little bit of a flurry. I mean, the punches are not landing on their mark. John's going for the holding the shirt thing. Spinning back fist. It lands right on the button, but look, it doesn't affect uh, John at all. Then there's the head kick. There's the legs locked out. Ooh, oh, trying yeah. to keep the balance. He's on a skateboard in that uh, instance. Oh, there's doing the chicken dance. Doing the chicken dance. There he goes. And now, the winner by T.K. 
minutes and 10 seconds in this bout. Le gagnant par TKO après 4 minutes et 10 secondes dans ce combat. Iron Leg, Sebastian Gauthier. Well, he lives up to the nickname of Iron Leg. You